up fairies and welcome back to my channel it's me larasia so we are back with another hair color tutorial this time i'm going to be doing a blue wig and not just any blue wig but i'm going to do four different blue colors into one wig i wanted to do mainly like a all blue wig well like a dark blue a light blue i don't know just all different types of colors of blue so you guys know the drill this hair is from chambray hair this is four bundles i have in two bundles of 24 inch it's bundle of 22 inch and then literally like one fourth bundle of 20 inch the raw blonde hair from chambray is so thick that you really do not need a lot of hair at all and i also have in a 13 by 6 frontal finally using the chambray frontal because my last frontal i used my last video was from god knows where i'm sticking to chambray frontals for now on the idea in my head again i don't have pictures i just have the picture in my head and i'm going to try to translate that on video on this wig. Alrighty, so this is my little um, color scheme like I did in the other video. I am I was doing some of these colors. Some of these colors I'm not gonna be using. So I'm not gonna be using this one and I'm not gonna be using this one. We're mainly gonna be concentrating on these four in the middle. So this is Royal Navy. That's the color that's gonna be going um, all in this bottom section. This is Scion and I'm gonna do a slit of Scion up here. This color is Azure. That's going to be our main blue section. It's going to be right here in the back. And then we have Sapphire, which is going to be another section over here. So the first color we're going to be doing is going to be Royal Navy. I'm going to start back here and then work my way on the sides. And then let's get to it. Okay guys, moving on to the next section. I'm going to be working on this entire middle section and I'm going to start on this side first and then I'll make my way over to the other side. But this is going to be our Azure side. So that is this color right here. Why is it not focusing? Come on, son. I'm going to be using this Azure shade right here. And the bulk of that is going all right here. So I'm just going to start on this side first and then make my way over to the side.
are almost done. So the next two colors I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna alternate. So we're gonna be doing them in like stripes kinda. So this is gonna be cyan, sapphire, cyan, cyan, sapphire, cyan. So I literally have like six sections worth of, I don't know if y'all can really see it, you know, I'm, I gotta like turn it, you know what I'm saying? Like a little bit like toot toot. But these are the two colors that I'm gonna be using. I wanted to use something very light and I wanted to use something um, pretty dark, not too dark, but dark to make the contrast pop a lot more. So hopefully this wig about to be receiving what I'm trying to get, you know what I'm saying? So let's finish this wig off. Okay, so you guys saw me rinse out the hair bit by bit. So something I have been doing with my wigs is lightly shampooing and conditioning them. Um, I feel like that greatly helps with static. I'm gonna go ahead and lightly shampoo, lightly shampoo with this Ion Color Defense Shampoo. It is a super gentle shampoo. It's not going to mess up our color formation or anything. And then I'm going to condition with Ion Intense Moisture Conditioner.
so I'm back. I let the hair air dry as long as possible. So I'm just looking through it and it's like, I, woo, I snapped, okay? I freaking snapped. Like, are y'all seeing this? Are y'all seeing this right now? It's just giving me like ocean, deep blue sea madness. Like it's everything. But yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead. Oh my gosh. Look at the sides. I think it's the sides for me, dog. It's the sides for me. Sorry, I'm like mad hype because I really snapped with this one. I'm gonna go ahead and do my per usual styling. Go ahead and blow dry. I'm gonna go ahead and pluck the frontal and I'm gonna curl it, cut the layers and all that stuff. But y'all know me, as I'm going and doing each part of what I just said, I'm gonna stop, pause, tell you what I'm doing and then keep it going. So let's get to blow drying. Alrighty, peeps, I am going to head to pluck the frontal. As you can see, this frontal is so much different than the last frontal I had in my other video. Um, because this is a chambray 13 by 6 frontal, okay. Um, when it comes to the lace, the lace is transparent and it is practically see-through. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and do my normal plucking. This plucking is not going to take me as long because... Listen, honey, these frontals are popping. We're going to get to curling and then be done with this wig, okay? guys so don't kill me okay i don't know what happened but i went ahead and layered this wig and i was not filming so i do know what happened i completely forgot to press the record button but all i did literally was just go ahead and layer this wig y'all know how it is with me in layering i don't really talk during me layering a wig i literally just 
go and just cut and just cut and just cut until I like it. So um, let me just do like a little zoom in for y'all really quick. Um, the wig originally was 24 inches, but I cut it into about, hmm, I probably cut it into like 22 inch, 20 inch type of wig. Um, I just felt like it would just look a lot better if it was shorter. I don't know what y'all feel. I feel like it just does it justice because it's short. And my last wig was long, so I wanted to switch it up. For the sake of the footage, I'm actually gonna go and recurl it for you guys on camera because I had to recurl it anyway. Y'all know in my last videos, um, I was recurling it. But nonetheless, I'm going to do the recurling part on video because I am doing pen curls. This hair is a little bit shorter and and I am using a two inch barrel. So um, I just wanna make sure when I'm getting ready and all that stuff and doing my makeup and like finishing off the video, I wanna make sure that my curls are like really still intact when I'm finishing off the video. So I'm going to pin curl it and that I'm gonna do on camera. So these are gonna be the four things that you guys are gonna be seeing me using. I'm gonna be using the Sebastian Reshaper Spray. This is the best. The best holding spray I have been using in my wigs is a brushable dry holding spray. Super good with helping with frizz and humidity outside. Um, not only that, it does a really good job with holding my, oh Lord, holding the curls in my hair. I'm gonna be curling the hair with this two inch barrel curling iron from Hot Tools. I did not get this from Sally Beauty. I got it from the Beauty Supply Store, but I will see if like Amazon or someone, you know, has it. I also am going to using the hot comb from Hot Tools as well. My favorite hot comb ever. And then I'm going to be sealing in the curls with this Salon Care um, double prong clips, AKA butterfly clips. So y'all know when it comes to me curling the hair, I'm gonna just section off the hair, curl it, put the clips in and just keep going until I've pretty much done the entire wig. The way I'm gonna be curling it is I'm gonna be curling away from the face and then when it comes to doing my little flippy do's, there it is. In the front, I'm gonna be curling it backwards, if that makes any sense. But Nonetheless, let me go ahead and start curling and y'all just watch and learn.
alrighty guys so my makeup is all done and honey child booboo stank gorilla this hair this makeup this final look is just giving me everything so i'm gonna be going in with my got to be insta hold spray to install my wig today and like i said before i am using the chambray lace thankfully this lace blends directly in with my skin tone and i literally installed this wig no lie to you guys in five minutes that's just how easy and how thin and how blendable this chambray lace is i did go ahead with some erica j medium brown skin tint i will see if she has hers in stock if not i will still put it down below because you guys can definitely do the get notified when in stock type of thing going on i love her skin tints because they just literally match my skin tone just absolutely perfectly like i said this process only took me like five minutes because that's just how thin chambray lace is and like i said it blends perfectly with my freaking forehead, okay? Now just to seal in the lace, I'm gonna take this little skinny elastic band that I had just laying around. I've been doing this method for a couple of months now and I just like to do this, blow drying the hair on medium heat for about two minutes, just because I just feel like it just secures the lace a lot better on my forehead so that, you know, it's not gonna be lifting up throughout the day. And honey, I am going ahead to take out these pink curls because they have been sitting in this wig for over 24 hours, maybe even 48 hours. It was the best decision to do the pink curls for this style because the layering, the curls, it just was giving me everything when I combed it out the colors like everything which is everything when i combed this hair out i was just like omg i layered this to perfection i just literally did the dyeing perfectly for this wig the navy in the back is just giving me that extra hint of mm, that i needed the little depth that i needed for this wig the light front the middle Ugh, it is just everything let me know down in the comment section how you guys feel about this wig when i first dyed this wig it was before i decided to make my series called it's giving now that i have an entire series based on remixing celebrities hair colors and just giving it my own little flair this is definitely a remake of the cardi b that she just did about a couple of weeks ago and honey it's giving let me know down in the comment section how you guys feel about this wig if it's giving you the blues and i will see you guys on sunday thanks for watching guys bye